I think I sort of naively thought uh, at that time, and we're talking the early 90s, that I could become an actor without training. Bristol Old Vic was the only school that I tried out for, not remotely expecting to get in. But I, I knew by reputation that the Old Vic school was somewhere that I thought sounded like something I could enjoy. In terms of how important a, a formal acting training is, it's a really difficult one to answer because I think it's different things for different people. For me, Bristol Old Vic was a great school because it was very much geared towards having a career in, in the industry uh, and was realistic about what you required as an actor in order to become a working actor, someone who was actually going to make a living out of it. Earthquakes in London here at the National is an incredibly, you know, it's a three hour show, it's a massive epic piece, it's very demanding on everyone in the company, but it's the sort of show that you can easily find new things to play with. I really enjoy working with new writers and the, the process when you're working on a new play is invigorating and exciting and the first time you read the play it probably won't be the draft that you eventually perform. If you're lucky you're constantly talking to the writer in the rehearsal room and the director in the rehearsal room and, and you, you come to a consensus amongst, you, amongst the, the three of you and the other people you work with about what, what your backstory is and how, how the, this person has come to be at whatever crisis they're at when the play begins and, and you take it from that point on. I don't really think of um, myself as having any particular talent. <laughs> I, I mean, I, uh, I enjoy, uh, I completely enjoy creating a character, I completely enjoy playing a role. I think the, the most important thing over the last 15 years has been taking what you, you've got and filling it out pushing yourself to whatever extreme as you think you can usefully push yourself to to do the work that you need to do. There's no question that fear and excitement plays a large part in why I do this at all. And I love, I love the challenge and uh, I love stepping into another person's shoes. And there is a fear in that because you, it's about letting go, it's about completely losing your inhibitions. It's about having absolutely no dignity whatsoever. Uh, and not being afraid to, to fail. Um, but it's that fear that makes you want to get it right, you know. And it never stops, I think. I don't think it ever will. I, I really enjoy just getting on stage and playing someone who is completely unlike me. As unlike me as I can get, I really enjoy. Not because I'm not happy being me, just because I really love being someone else. <laughs>